I came across an Excel challenge on LinkedIn, and I loved the versatility of solutions provided. So I simulated it to show you my solution and share the benefit with you. The link to the original post is in the description below this video. I am Nabil Murad. In this tutorial, I show you how I solve the problem using Biro, Filter, and other dynamic array functions. So let's dive in. In this worksheet, I have a list of student names, and then I have the math, the science, and the reading score for each one of the students. The goal is to extract in one single cell the name or names of the student who got the highest total score. Let me explain it further. I go to the concept worksheet, and here I created a total column, and conditional formatting shows that two students got the same top score, Page and Salazar. And what I would like to do is to extract the name of Page and Salazar separated by comma in one single cell, as you can see in cell G1. I'm going to build my solution in the dynamic worksheet. The first function I'm going to use is called Pyro. The Pyro function applies a lambda function to each row and returns an array of the results. Let me explain it further. So if in cell E2, I type equal by row, and then I hit tab, it asks me about an array. And the array I want to use, because I want to calculate the total score for each student, then I'm selecting this entire array from B2 to D18. And then I type a comma, and the second argument is a function, and it's the lambda function. So if I type lambda, the by row function is going to pass to the lambda function row by row of the selected array. I type an opening bracket, and now I want to give a name to each one of the rows that will be passed from the by row to the lambda function. I'm going to name it x. You can name it whatever you want. And then I type a comma. What would you like to do with this x? I want to add up the x. I want to add up the values coming from each row. Then I use a sum function. I hit the tab key. I want to sum x, which means each row of the array provided to the by row function. Then I close the bracket for the sum function. I close the bracket for the lambda function. I close the bracket for the by row function. And look what happens when I hit enter. It's returning row by row, the total score for each one of the students. I don't need this function in a separate column, then I'm going to copy and delete the function. I copy it, Control c I hit Escape and Delete, and now I'm going to start building my solution. I'm going to use this by row function multiple times, and instead of recreating it over and over again, I'm going to give it a name and store it in a variable. And that's why I'm going to use the let function. So I type equal let. The let function allows me to create variables, assign values to these variables, and use the name of the variable in other functions. Let me expand the formula bar so that you can see my function on multiple lines. I hit Alt Enter to move to the next line, and the first variable, I can give it any name. It will store the by row function. Let's give it the name A. I type a comma, and what's the value for A variable? It's the by row function that I paste it at this position. I type a comma, Alt Enter to move to the next line. And because my goal is to return the name of the student, and I want to store the list of student names in another variable. Let's call it B, and then comma. What does B refer to? B refers to the list of names. Then I select the list of names in column A. I type a comma, and then I hit Alt, Enter, and now I want to provide the function, the calculation, as the screen tip says. I'm going to create a filter function to filter the list of names based upon the maximum score returned by the by row function. Then I use a filter function. I hit tab. What do you want to filter? I want to filter the list of names. You already named it B. So I type B, and then I type a comma. What do you want to include? I want to include the result of the by row function only for the student or students who got the maximum score or the top score. Then I type A if it is equal to the max of A. 
Remember, A refers to the by row function. So I'm evaluating the result. If it's the top score, then I would like to return the name by using the filter function, which will extract the name from the variable B. I close the bracket for the filter function. I close the bracket for the let function. When I hit enter, I get Page and Salazar, who got the same exact top score. Do you want them in a column? No, I want them in one single cell separated by comma, and that's the perfect job of the array to text function. The array to text returns an array of text values from a range. Then I'm going to wrap my let function in an array to text function. I put it in the edit mode F2. Before the let function, I type array to text, and then I hit tab, and I close the bracket at the end. When I hit enter, I get the result I was looking for. Let me test. I'm going to change the sign score for key in a way that it matches the total score for Page and Salazar. I'll make it 27, and the moment I hit enter, look at the result of my function, key, page, Salazar. That was my solution to the challenge. I encourage you to check the post and see how other experts solve the same challenge. And if you found value in this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support my channel and to be notified when new tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.